Hello, everyone. This is Sharon Hawks from the Hunt Public Library. And I'd like to share with you today um, some slides and pictures and text about the Terrace Project. I know people were very excited about seeing that getting done. I'd like to show you some of the details behind the scenes that you might not know about. Here comes the PowerPoint. Here we are. Nahan Public Library was begun as a collection of books given to the town in 1819. After having been housed in the first school in town and the old town hall, a beautiful building was constructed in 1895 to house and grow the collection. It included a terrace or porch alongside the southwest corner of the building. Several repair projects of the building have been undertaken over the years, but it's time to look comprehensively at the entire building to determine what needed to be done to make the building sound for the future. More than one assessment pointed to the need to restore the entire structure of the terrace, which was deteriorating from underneath. This has been a priority of the Board of Trustees. Because the building is on the National Register and it has a Massachusetts preservation restriction, we knew the repair must maintain the historic look of the original. So one question was, is the unusual terracotta colored tile on the terrace included in 1895. We discovered in an old materials list from uh, the Historical Society that the red quarry tile was in fact original to the building. Looks like the plan was, use, uh, was to use red brick and stone rather than the yellow Weymouth granite that they ultimately chose. So the red tile would have matched better. Here's evidence in the tile that there were serious issues in the hollow structure beneath. As you can see, there are both places over the beams where the tiles push upwards and long cracks across many tiles where sinking has occurred. On the left is a picture of one of the iron support beams. The process of corrosion actually expands the beam which then pushes on the structure as could be seen on the walls from the outside. We knew that the entire terrace would need to be rebuilt. Here's a look at the support structure underneath the terrace. The support beams could actually be peeled away in layers. Another problem was the downspout drainage system built to convey water from the gutters and terrace to a dry well out front the pipes have broken down, eroding the floor of the structure. On the bottom pictures, pillars built in 18, excuse me, in 1986 can be seen, which were being undermined by erosion. So the pillars that they had put in 1986 were actually not helping anymore as the floor of the structure was lowered by erosion. Step one in the repair was to shore up the structure so it wouldn't collapse during demolition. Here you can see the beams in place beside the 1986 repair. This work was done by the Rene Lamar Company, funded in part with a grant from Essex Heritage Foundation. The planning for demolition and reconstruction were performed by uh, the planning were, was performed by Richard Smith preservation architect from Swampscott who specializes in historic public libraries in New England. And here is the reconstruction plan. Everything had to be taken down and rebuilt, adding new beams and framing, a new drainage system, and new tiling, as well as rebuilding the walls. We also had a plan to make the building a little more compliant uh, with ADA, with accessibility, by uh, eliminating the step down from the side entrance onto the terrace. It is now one even 
uh, flooring across. Campbell Construction Group did the demolition and restoration with funding from the Mass Historical Commission and the Community Preservation Commission. Structures North was the engineering consultant company. I was pleased with everyone who worked on this project, especially as they were working under COVID-19 restrictions and manufacturing delays due to COVID-19. Here, the deck has been removed and you can see the remnants of the iron beams and the drainage pipes partially repaired. Before this, the structure was only accessible through a hole in the basement level wall. On the left, you can see layers of iron flaking off at the bottom of the beam. On the right, a beam that has been removed has a hole completely through it. Newly manufactured steel beams, a steel deck, a rebar underpinning for the concrete, and drainage fittings are installed. The workmen built bridges for us so that we could remain open as they continued to work. Because we asked them not to cut back tree branches to access the terrace, they used a concrete conveyor from the bottom of the hill instead. Waterproof membrane, part of the drainage system came next and then it rained the very next day, so we knew that the membrane was working. A drainage mat is added to direct the water toward the drains. Access doors are added to the copper downspouts so they can be cleaned out if they get clogged. This is a photograph of the wall before deconstruction with every block numbered. So first they took a picture of the whole thing and numbered it on the photograph, and then they numbered the blocks themselves. The blocks were carefully removed and placed on the lawn. Like a giant jigsaw puzzle, the walls were rebuilt and straightened. Here's a section of the rebuilt wall. The mortar was analyzed for color and content comparable to the original. Even the technique for this type of pointing was replicated. On top, a sheet of copper flashing, which keeps moisture from seeping into the wall below, was replaced. Beautiful work. There is one layer still to be added, the tile. Measurement next to the drain cap guided the workers in grading the pitch of the deck as it wound around the building, eliminating a step down near the side entrance and making the terrace accessible. There still is a single uh, step up to the front entrance, uh, the Nahant Road entrance, that we couldn't uh, figure out a way around yet because of uh, the spacing that it would take to build it. We'll leave that for somebody in the future to solve. Here, the quarry tiling is added. And here's a before and after picture. We're very pleased how it turned out. Some caulking is added around the edges and the work is complete. There will be a small cleanup and some lawn work still to do in the spring, but otherwise we're done. This couldn't be done without so many people that committed themselves, uh, both the professionals that worked on the building, uh, the people who uh, supported and funded this operation, and the people involved in its planning. So I'd like to say thank you to the Town of Nahant, the Board of Selectmen, the Nahant Community Preservation Committee, the Massachusetts Historical Commission, Essex Heritage Foundation, Library Board of Trustees, Library Building Conservation Committee, Friends of Nahant Public Library, and thank you to all of you 
the residents of Nahant for all of your support. Thank you very much. <laughs>